sir what is going on youtube it's your boy denali aka don squally and we back at it with another ricer build man now before we get started hashtag auction down in the comment section if you guys want to see an auction uh we got one coming up uh probably this weekend either saturday or sunday but stay tuned in later videos this week to find out exactly when that's going down man but today we have a request as per usual the nature of this channel if you guys have a request drop them down in the comment section um brandon the gamer lol brandon williams jeffy fanboy 96 it's tim mr wolf austin summer and jesus is my dad 11 all want to see a ricer mustang build now before we get started with this ricer build if you guys want to see me turn this ricer build from rice to nice uh next week just hashtag don't you don't even hash have to hashtag just let me know that you want to see this one go from rice to nice down in the comment section um and that'll let me know that you guys want to see that uh because i like to take these ricer builds once we you know completely destroy them i like to take them from their ricer um, persona back into something that is somewhat respectable that i would drive um, now what i'm going to do here is search for a mustang that i do not own yet now coincidentally we have actually done a svt ricer mustang before so we're not going to pick this cobra r right here maybe a 93 cobra r would probably be more appropriate uh, how about some classic Mustangs over here? Uh, the Boss 302. But what I think we're probably going to do is a Fox Body Drift build. Now, simply because I can't even re remember the last time I did a Fox Body. Most definitely have not done a Rice or Fox Body. So we're going to go ahead and jump up in this bad boy right now. And then take this thing into the upgrade shop. So right off of the bat, we're going to check out some of our engine swap options. Now, obviously, being ricers, we're not going to be able to afford any of them. Um, so we're just going to actually skip that whole part. Now, this all-wheel drive, that would be super interesting. We're not going to put that on right now. Um, now, basically, what I want to do is just make a complete beater, have this thing completely busted up. Um, now, as far as the front bumper goes... Uh, thinking we're probably going to leave the stock bumper on here now coincidentally for an old school 1993 ford this bumper relatively ricey as you can see with these big goofy fog lights that don't actually have fog lights in them that's kind of ridiculous um big old cheesy forza wing man this one probably would have come from ebay um the rear end looks like a cobra rear bumper we're gonna pass on that one as far as the hood goes, ooh-wee, we got some ricey options right here. Um, I'm thinking we're probably going to go ahead and do the VPN street hood. Looking kind of, I don't know, pretty ridiculous. Looks like some nostrils going on there. Not really a big fan of that hood, so we're going to throw that on there. Now, tire compound. Um, if we were legit, we'd probably throw on like a Horizon or maybe the race tire. We're going to leave the stock tire compound on here. Um, and the tire width exactly the same. Now the rim style, this is where the fun stuff begins. Um, obviously you guys know that I'm big on chrome wheels for ricers and stuff like that. This build's going to be no different. So I'm going to skim through a couple options until I find some wheels that I think are going to look ugly and we're just going to go from there. Now we're going to go ahead and throw on these Brabus monoblocks. Now, you guys are probably telling yourself, Dave, those aren't really that ricey. But I guarantee you by the end of this video, they will be ricey, man. We're going to beef those up real nice and big there. What are we rocking here? 20-inch dolies on the 5.0, baby. What you know about it, man? Um, so we're going to go ahead and leave that the way that it's... Oh, no. We're going to continue working. Um, drive train. Uh burnt out clutch as per usual man not you know not spinning tire just spinning clutch uh, if you're not spinning clutch you're not much is what i've heard um differential we're gonna go ahead and throw on the race diff drive line everything here transmission we're gonna leave stock 
Um, now the brakes, normally we would upgrade them. We're gonna leave those absolutely stock. If you're a ricer, you probably don't have much braking pressure, so we're gonna go ahead and take care of that a little later on in the video. Weight reduction, however, one of the only things that ricers can afford, that and uh, obviously intakes and exhaust, ladies and gentlemen. That's the ricer go-to, man. Um, you know, you put on an intake, you put on an exhaust, and then you put full bolt-ons in your Instagram posts on, uh, on, on IG. So that's basically the ricer lifestyle in a nutshell. We're going to go ahead, install this to the current car. Now we need to tune this thing, and by tune it, I mean detune it. Uh, gearing, way out there. We don't even have a fifth gear as far as that little uh, description there is concerned. Um, now the camber, big time in the front. Uh, let's go ahead and put a lot of toe in the front as well. Um, any roll bars, can't adjust those, so we're going to leave them. Springs, very nice and soft, ride high. Dampening, soft all the way around, man. This thing's just going to be absolute jello. It's going to be uh, one of the fun things about this build, actually, if I uh, can be honest with you guys. Um, differential acceleration is going to be on the low, probably because you don't have very much diff fluid. Eh, these things happen from time to time, man. We're going to go ahead, take care of that. Now, designs and paints, you guys know this is where... Your boy Don Squally likes to bring things all together here. Now this thing, not not looking too bad with the red and actually, yeah, look at the camber on the front of this thing, man. That is ridiculous, super ridiculous. Um, we're gonna need a ricer color though, so I'm just gonna skim through a couple options here, see if I can find something that fits the bill with this one. Now what I was thinking was this very dark uh, brownish looking color here and that's probably not gonna be enough so we're gonna have to add some decals on here the wheels though you guys are like oh where's the chrome here's the chrome ladies and gentlemen don't you worry about it man donk special up in the hizzy um as far as the tints go purple nurple all the way around thank you um that's looking pretty disgusting now uh, so we're going to go ahead and save that to the current car. And we're going to go ahead and apply a couple of decals on here. And for this one, man, I'm thinking flames. Let's see if we can find something that we like here. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking business. The flame ball. Oh, no. These are kind of tribal. Where's the fire? Do we actually have legit fire? It doesn't look like it. All right. I'm going to find something that I like here. Let you guys know. So we're just going to go ahead and do kind of an old school ricer look here. Now typically, uh, modern ricers, you probably wouldn't see something like this, but back in the 80s, before the term ricer was even a household thing, um, to be honest, man, this is, this is really what it was all about, that flame paint job on these old school muscle cars, man. Um, so we're going to save this to the current car as ugly as it looks. And with that being said, man, we're ready to get out of there. Friggin' run amok. I can't wait to see what this thing looks like on the 360 here. Right from the back, already getting a glimpse of that purple tint. Them chrome wheels and that ugly, ugly paint job, man. As you can see, whole car moving. Oh, it's bouncing, man. Yes. Let's see if we can get this thing to bounce a little more. That was hilarious. Oh, this thing sucks big time, man. One wheel peel there, ladies and gents. Yeah, that was a one wheel peel there. That is hilarious, man. Not only have we riced this thing, but we've aged it all the way back. 1993 man oh this thing is absolutely terrible all right just just a word of advice for you guys out there man I see some guys online sometimes they're driving like the same cars that I build online and stuff like that and that's all fine and dandy I really appreciate that um, it's really cool to see 
but don't don't build this car man this is not one of those cars that you guys should try to waste your money on and copy like oh this is absolute disgusting right like just uh, that's it the only word i have to say is disgusting causing accidents like oh we got no only one wheel spin in there that's too funny man See if we can get a little drifty action going on here. Oh man, it handles like complete crap. This is terrible, man. Yeah, this thing sucks, dude. All right, well, as funny of a build as it is, who would have thought that I could make a car that didn't perform properly, eh? Not like everybody doesn't accuse me of doing that every video anyways. Actually, no, it's been pretty good. The haters have kind of calmed down recently, um, which has been cool, man. I appreciate that, haters. Um, but, yeah, this, thing's, th this thing is just no, no dice on this one for me, man. It's definitely going to be a no. Um, we are going to need to find that. No, why are you always bugging me with this stuff, man? I just told you no on the last video, man. Like, give me a break up in here. Um, so, yeah, some classic rice there, man. Some rice taking it back to the 90s with this thing, man. I'm um, legit. What? Ah, oh, fog, really? Come on, man. We were doing so good there. Um, but as always, I am your boy Denali, aka Don Squally. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned, auction coming up very shortly. Um, that's about it, man. So, as always, we're gonna catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace. Oh, oh, no, oh, for fuck's sake, every fucking time. Showdown, bitch. Yeah, just keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the racer anymore.